Okay, so we're going to take a look at a team uh, from last year's Golden Week. We've got the 23rd World Tournament Goku. I'm using all of the characters from last year's Golden Week. So basically we've got Goku uh, and Piccolo Jr., their banner units, Krillin and TN. We've got Bulma, who was the Part 2 LR. And then, of course, the 8th year GT duo, who for JP uh, were obviously out when Golden Week happened and were very good for Goku's team in order to be the unit that gets you the revival um, to get his full sort of like god mode. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how well these guys do here. This is not a great starting rotation though, I have to say. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess we just have to go with it, right? So let's do this. We know the GT duo not exactly adept at taking AoEs. But Bulma support. We'll see how we go. 148k, nice. And then 297. All right, it's a good start. Yeah, only AoEs can hurt this team, which again is just another downside to Global still being stuck in this AoE meta. Hopefully, Golden Week brings out something interesting, but. Obviously, like last year, we were looking through the Golden Week um, celebration like list of content and everything earlier on the stream to kind of have a sort of guess of what sort of stuff will come this year. And there was, apart from like a new boss rush, which, I mean, that's, you know, that's just a free stone thing. It's not any actual difficult content. Um, so I wouldn't get your hopes up, right? But... Yeah, it would be nice to get some sort of new, relevant, difficult event so that we don't have to, like... Because for global players, you know, even... We talked about this with Goku and Rudigan coming out. It's like new units come out, even Vegeta. It's like new units come out. But then it's like, but then what event are you actually using them in? Like, going back and doing uh, Zamasu and Omega again is basically all we have to do. Whereas if you're on JP, say in Day Vegeta, the Golden Week units, you have all of the content from the anniversary that you can take those units into. So, obviously Global, we are counting down the days till the anniversary. Uh, the sync is a nice big step towards this kind of stuff not happening anymore. Uh, would you like a Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, and Ghost LR for part two on JP? I think that'd be pretty cool, especially if they named it that way, right? So it was a uniquely named character. I came up with a concept, we talked about it on stream ages ago, for like a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks character, where he has an ability that you... It would, I guess it would be a standby now, with the way skills work in the game, but you'd have an ability where you activate it and he creates a bunch of ghosts, and then the ghosts act kind of like a barrier, so the ghosts, like every couple... Let's say he creates like four ghosts, the next four attacks that would hit Gotenks don't do any damage. And then when the last one, like, because obviously the ghosts blow up on contact in the show, um, when the last one gets blown up, like it does big damage to the enemy or something. And uh, something like that would be kind of cool. When it's kind of like a barrier ability. It'd be cool. Especially if it was like a, I mean, I guess, I don't know if it'd be like a standby type thing where you can't take any damage while it's happening. He can't, but he can't attack. And then maybe the ghosts exploding actually do damage the enemy. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, we got a very unfortunate first rotation. So, I mean, All right. Let's do this. very unfortunate with these uh, AoEs. This is a slightly better start. We still got both the Gokus on the other rotation, though. Good old limited attempt events and uh, not being able to pick your starting rotation. But, um, so let's, ideally I want Goku and... Krillin on one rotation and Goku and Piccolo on the other rotation, so I suppose we can float off Piccolo here. So if we do this, get our orbs for Bulma, and then grab these for you. It's a slightly better first rotation. Because uh, Krillin obviously going to get his buff. Yeah, Piccolo Jr. not exactly ideal against AoEs either. Krillin should eat this quite nicely now, though, after getting his initial buff, right? Yeah, 137. Still not amazing, but Krillin, when he came out, was uh, definitely... Yeah, the waiting quote, arguing with Piccolo, that would be kind of funny. Because, yeah, we see from, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku standby, where it's observing the opponent. Right, they all have a different, like, thing. 
That would actually be kind of fun. But yeah, an LR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, I think would be cool. Yeah, Gotenks. See, that could be part of it, right? The counter animation is the ghosts attacking them or something. Give them a scour and key and attack support. Each attack received to get a buff for the turn. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. So he can't attack himself, but like each attack he takes or gets directed at him is buffing then like the damage the ghosts do or some, something like that, right? It's just because it'd be something a little bit more interesting than just him being... Because what would be the most disappointing, even if he was really good, is if he came out and was just a flat-out, like, big damage dealer that did a bunch of additional supers. Like, that would still be cool. Like, those units are fun. But having something a little bit different, I think, would be cool. Or it might be able to. This might actually work out okay, as long as we live the turn. Because I guess it all depends what happens with TN in the middle here. But... As long as we survive the turn, um, we should be able to, on the next turn now, with the GT duo having been in slot 7, we should be able to have them come in and instantly stand by, and then obviously get killed, revive, and then 23rd World Tournament Goku's in his, uh, his god mode. So, that would be quite ideal. More super attacks, these guys get off the bear as well. I say these guys, as if it's not just TN, but TN and his clones. The only downside, of course, is I think he should be able to tank normals after doing the multiple supers, but he won't tank a super. So... He does have a pretty decent dodge chance, but... And then Goku at the end. Spawn unlimited ghosts as a standby. The more ghosts that take an attack, the stronger the final standby will be. That would be cool, actually, yeah. Because one of the current standby things, we've got, like, a number of orbs collected charges the thing. Number of attacks of, like, all allies is one. Um, so that would be kind of cool. The number of attacks taken is what charges it. And it does obviously, it'd have to not go too high because depending on the way the rotations work, there are turns where you'd only get attacked a couple of times and you can't really do much about that, but... Alright, so now, yeah, we go into the standby. I mean, this is kind of the perfect setup that you want for this team, I guess, is to have those guys in slot 7, right? Especially in this AoE meta. Because if we do this, it means that Bulma will get to attack, and then, obviously, Vegeta just gets killed by the AoE. So... Yeah, TN, doing pretty well. But yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks have usually been damage dealing type units. Um, especially, like, especially the Super Saiyan 3 ones. But yeah, that would be an interesting new kind of standby. I quite like that. So yeah, he like charges up. Um, charges up by taking hits. And then you do like the big Ghost Kamikaze thing at the end. That would be super cool. But yeah, so we get killed with uh, GT Vegeta here. Drop the Spirit Bomb. Not a crazy amount of damage, right? Because obviously we didn't get much build up. But that means now the Gokus are in full Demon Time mode. So yeah, this guy, this Goku has 923k defense at the start of the turn. That's uh, that's pretty good. And now that we've got a revival, not only do we have full HP, but uh, he has guaranteed guard. So. And of course, remember that 23rd World Tournament Goku and Piccolo, one of the other interesting abilities that they had is that they are both super effective against all types when there's only one enemy. Hey, there's the Goku Key Blast nullification as well. Love to get those in there. Nine million. I mean, this is the thing, right? This team, absolutely. I mean, I say the team, right? You probably aren't running TN, realistically, in a lot of these difficult events now. But Goku can still cook once you uh, get a unit to revive for him. Because, um, yeah, now with his guaranteed guard, he's already built up to some decent defense. This one hasn't been hit as many times, though, so I'm not sure what his... He's at 838. And, I mean, this rotation specifically is pretty good. Um, so, if we do this... Then we can grab the tech orbs. And then that leaves all the physical orbs of Bulma. I mean, this is a pretty good rotation. Yeah, Krillin takes the one hit, gets the big buff. He's got... My Krillin is built for full dodge. And considering how good defensively he can be, a 7 million attack stat for a support unit is pretty solid as well, to be fair. 
And then Goku with the 8.8. .8. And bear in mind, of course, after the uh, super, like he's not, this one, the, this one is not even fully built up and he's basically at like a million defense now with guard, which is pretty nice. Buhan of all the ghosts would be cool. Yeah, I've always liked that they give the uh, Buhan like the ghost Kamehameha thing. Imagine how cool that would look now with like a updated modern day Dokun, uh, Dokun? Dokon quality animation. Um, all right, how much are you going to eat this for? Did, we, did he triple super? Was that a double or a triple? He still took 358k, damn. That shows you how hard this Zamasu... I mean, to be fair, this physical Zamasu does hit for, what, like 2 mil or something. So, that's the thing. 23rd World Tournament Goku can build up some nice raw defense and guard. But... I mean, to be... Yeah, again, to be fair, a unit without damage reduction tanking that super for uh, 300k is actually kind of good. But we're going to get the job. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. There's another tool that we have in the arsenal for this team, of course, is the Piccolo Junior Giant form. Now, whilst we do have type disadvantage, it's not like we're going to do crazy damage here, but, you know, it's free damage, and we can't take damage, so... Eh. Not the best key, though. Always going to be an issue for Giant forms, but... Worldwide is Buhan with the ghost attack of Vegito with standby into Candy. That would be quite funny. That would actually be hilarious. A Vegito who has a standby ability where he gets turned into Candy Vegito. Because <laughs> then the standby animation. Because it doesn't matter who you're fighting. But the standby animation would be Boo zapping him with the Candy Beam. And then he turns into Candy Vegito. And then yeah, his standby could just be that he has a 100% chance to dodge. And then yeah, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since we've had, because we got that one card, and then for some reason they decided when they gave him an easy A, especially at the time of his easy A, made him really, really good for that candy for Geo. Would be kind of funny for, uh... There's not much, there's so much, yeah, there's so much stuff, like, uh, there's so much stuff primed for a, um, Boo Saga celebration. Even with Gotenks, like, getting his easy A on JP. Um, there's so much stuff they could do, still. So many easy A's. Like, I can't wait. Meditating Jiren. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you could have, like... Well, I suppose that doesn't really fit in with the... The way the things happen in the show, right? I was going to say, you could have him base Jiren. Then the standby where he meditates and then he becomes full power Jiren. But it doesn't really go like that in the show, does it? It'd be kind of funny if he was like Sleepy Beerus, where he's meditating at the start of the fight, so he can't do anything for the first like couple of turns, and then he just comes like comes alive and goes crazy. Doesn't even need to be a full power Jiren, but he could uh, absolutely just pop off once the um, standby ends. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so we did get three turns of the giant form. Um, has he super during this? Uh Giant form yet? Because of course the big thing with the giant forms is the fact that we then can't get supered afterwards. As long as they actually super during it. So yeah, Jiren brackets nap time. Yeah, just like this Beerus pajamas. They give them a different name. Not that we have a good Jiren, because you know, STR Jiren's EZA was bad. Um, but they could call him Jiren brackets meditating, I guess. He's supered in Piccolo Dodge. Let's go. You gotta love it when the giant form characters dodge attacks, because it would have just done no damage anyway. But that's always fun. Hey, what is this? The World Tournament? <laughs> nah, because if it was the World Tournament, we'd have the animation skip on. Uh, that's why, funnily enough, I haven't watched this animation for ages, because when you're doing the World Tournament, it's pretty much just doing this over and over again, except you have the skip on, so you don't actually get to see it. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> Alright, so... Do you have any links with... Oh, you get Saiyan Lineage. Goku has a million defense. That's pretty good. Um... 
So if we do this, do this. We haven't really let Piccolo have much of a chance to show out, so he kind of has uh, taken over the last part of the, the thing here. Giant form, active skill. Then by using the active skill, moving him into slot one, get 8.8. .8. He should do, hopefully, one or two additionals here. And then he goes up to 10. <laughs> Goku, of course, yeah, a million, over a million defense. So he's going to tank all of these quite nicely. And then what did Goku get up to? 9.5. So, I mean, in the right circumstances, I mean, we kind of saw the polar opposites here, right? Like the first run at the start of the video, we had a terrible starting rotation. So the start did not go very well. Um, but then on the second attempt, we had a pretty good starting setup, especially with the GT duo being in slot 7. Um, and then it turned into a really good run against Amasu. So, yeah, the Golden Week units from last year, still pretty good. Obviously, on Global, not having the anniversary content out yet, we can't really try them out there. But it'd be interesting. I mean, Goku, as long as you can get the revive off of somebody... Goku, of course, could still be really good. Because just having guard and ridiculously high raw defense is always a good combo. Um, but yeah, if AoEs weren't a thing, right? Because Piccolo Jr. needs to get some build up. But I mean, the team can still hang, right? Using all the units from last year's Golden Week plus the eight-year duo. Hopefully this year's Golden Week will be as good. Uh, the banners last year, I think, came out on the 28th. So just over two weeks away. Let me know what you guys want to see for Golden Week down below in the comment section. I might start doing some speculation videos. But let me know your guys' thoughts uh, down below on what you want to see. But yeah, this team is still pretty good. Goku can still be good. Krillin is kind of situational for the team, right? You just want to use him with the Goku on this team specifically. TN is the one you probably wouldn't use so much anymore. Obviously, Bulma is still very good as well. So, pretty good selection of Golden Week characters from last year. And I guess we'll see what happens this year. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.